Hello YouTube, my name is Willie Lacalle and welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> Today we're, we're going to start playing around with our International 1586 150 horsepower big old monster tractor. As you can tell it's been sitting around for a while. Back here you can barely see but I got a finishing disc tied to it and uh, yeah, it's got trees growing through it so and we're going to have a little fun getting that thing out of there. I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. I don't think they're very big chunks. And, and we, we should be able to pull out of it no problem. <clears throat> However, um, you know, that's one of the things about these tractors when they've been sitting around for a while. My goodness, look at the size of that bad boy. That might be a problem. We may have to cut, cut into that. Anyway, uh... I'm going to make this in little sections and kind of try to put it all together. Um, point out some of the things that I, I know is wrong with it that I remember off the top of my head. For one, uh, our alternator uh, is bad. Last time I was out plowing with it, I think I had a little leak up here, water leak that got down in it and uh, burnt out my alternator, which was a brand new two or three day old alternator. Um, these things, these beasts are, are bad about um, eating up alternators. I'm not sure why that is, but I've been through a few of them. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, the, the uh, rubber uh, housing or whatever you want to call it that holds the headlights in place, you know, they've rotted out. And over the years, I've had to hold them in with tape, you know, whatever it takes to get out there and plow at night I sure like to work on these work these tractors not work on them but in other words get out there and plow and all that at night time see the these others are in the same situation there's another one there I got two or three more over there you know just things that uh, I don't even know that these little rubber uh, housing grommets or whatever you want to call them are, are even available anymore. You know, I may have to modify this to some kind of other lighting system. And that's no problem. Uh, it's just going to take a little time. <clears throat> Another issue that I got over here is uh, my fuel pump. Uh, injection pump. Has uh, all sorts of goop on it. I think I either have a leak which is, you know, obvious, but, uh, <clears throat> or it was pretty dirty and I squirted it down with, um, with some degreaser, uh, a while back and, you know, that's, that's kind of the outcome of it. Uh, over here, you can see the, the heater for the block, it was cut off. Uh, over the years, the rodents had got into it and, and eaten up wires and so forth and, <clears throat> and, uh, you know, some of it was cut off. Well, we're, we're not, uh, I'm going to regret saying this. We're not really in a, in a, that far up north, right? I'm in North Texas and, uh, we're, we're not really in, in the region where I have to use this. Um, and, and I'm hesitant to say that mainly because, um, well, we do need it if it's a tractor that you're going to be using in the winter time. And for the most part, uh, this is my plowing tractor. All right, this is what hauls the 21 foot equipment, my plows, my discs. Uh, I don't use it to put out hay anymore. Um, it's got a couple broken cogs, uh, teeth on my reverse gear. So when I put it in reverse, it, it clicks and you know, I try very, very little to use it in reverse. Because, uh, in order to replace that reverse uh, gear, um, man, it's total destruction. You know, you have to... I've got videos of, of verifying that that's my problem. I've drained the oil, pulled the tires, got myself up in there. Uh, <clears throat> verified. That's absolutely what it is. And, and I figured out why that's happened right so uh, again this is one of the inherent problems with these with these tractors right and and 
I'm not sure that very many people have figured this out, but I have. And the reason that that, that is an issue is because there's a parking paw. And when that parking paw breaks, it goes down, all the way down. What does it do? Well, it jacks up them teeth, right? It gets caught up in there, and before you know it, you're breaking teeth and, and tearing up your transmission and your, you know, well, if you own one of these and been through it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So, <clears throat> uh, needless to say, there is no more parking paw in there. Once I realized that, that it was broken, you know, that was my problem. I pulled it out. And, uh, again, I'm, I'm not in a, a hilly shoot. I'm in North Texas. This is prairie land. This is flat as flat can be. Um, so, I'm, I'm in no need uh, to, to have a parking brake. Um, you know, so I keep flat and flat areas and when I go to take equipment off, you know, I do it to where I don't have to have a parking brake. Anyway, um, quick little look at Cheaper to Keeper. Haven't had a chance to get her in the water yet as bad as I've wanted to and all the work that I've done to her. But she's ready. Just a matter of, you know, getting her in there. This is the time of year where I like to go fishing because it's cool. Officially, uh, I guess we're already into uh, fall as of a week or two ago. Uh, nights are starting to cool off. And, uh, you know, pretty soon it'll be fishing time. <clears throat> However, it's also plowing time. Um, it's been extremely dry. We've been in a drought here in North Texas. I've been having to feed uh, corn hay, and nothing wrong with corn hay, but, you know, if I had a choice between corn hay and Sudan, well, there's no doubt, it's Sudan, and, you know, what I want to feed them doesn't really matter, it's what they want, and man, let me tell you, the difference in, in their body condition between some good Sudan uh, and, and that corn hay, well, it's it's night and day, right? However, um, like I said, when you know that's all you got at the moment, that's what you got to feed, and you got to supplement however you need to. And uh, don't worry about that 1586, folks. We're gonna get right back to it here in a minute. But while we're talking about cows and corn hay, let me uh, show you right quick. There's the cows eating some of that corn hay, and you know they're not horrible shape. But they're not in the kind of shape I want them to be in, especially going in the winter time. Um, there you go. They just tearing that stuff up. They love it. They don't love it because that's all that there is. <clears throat> so, all right, let's get back to my 1586 beast over here. And let me tell you, man, I love this tractor. I've uh, I've had it for oh I don't know 20 something years now. Uh, I think I paid somewhere in the neighborhood of eleven, twelve thousand dollars for it. Um, it sat for years. Once we figured out that you know we had a problem with that uh, <coughs> reverse gear um, after my father passed, uh, I wanted to resurrect it, and I did, and I used it for a few years. And you know, like I said, I, I have to baby it. Uh, another problem that I have is when I use one of my second um, sets of uh, hydraulics, um, there's a, uh, a major oil leak. So um, that's the reason for the seat being out of it. Um, I pulled the seat because I thought I can get to the, the hose from under here. And... Um, turns out I, I can't so um, I want to get the tractor started and moved and get it ready to start rolling again and uh, I can't do that without putting the seat in because the seat is hydraulic and down in here right there with the uh, aluminum foil those are the two hoses that, that go to the hydraulic cylinder on the seat Right, so when I say the seat's hydraulic, uh, the the 
the cushion, the shock absorbent part of it runs off of that. So, um, you know, a, a couple more little things. This in here is, is where all main electronics is. Uh, your fuses, your starting solenoid. Um, we'll get to this here shortly uh, when we get to trying to start this thing. However, um, you know, I'm just kind of showing y'all around. Uh, I put a, a new stereo in this thing. What was in here was pretty jacked up. I sure like listening to music when I'm out there working. Um, it's nothing fancy, but you know, it, it rocks it, and that's what I need while I'm out there. Air conditioner works. Um, you know, it's nice to have air conditioner. You can't really be inside of one of these bad boys in the middle of the summer without air conditioning. I mean, it is just burn you up between the heat coming in from the floor and uh you know the cab itself windows open well windows open don't do no much good unless it's you know fall uh or maybe spring um but our fall and spring time here in north texas is you know a matter of a few days from where it goes to cold to unbearable heat and from heat to cold so anyway uh I have a 48 capacitor out here in front of the house I need to start doing something with. Uh, I want to get winter pasture put in. And um, this is the tractor to do it with. So, like I said, our next step is to get our seat back in. Um, I'll take you all real quick over to where the seat is. And uh, another thing is I got to get, I bought two new batteries for this because, uh, you know, the batteries were dead. Uh, as you can see there's where one battery goes and this is a dual battery system and uh, here's where the other battery goes so these are both brand new batteries uh, the the uh, other battery is, is actually in my car here my car uh, died on me a few days ago well, about a week or two ago and uh, um, I needed to get it going uh, I needed to get to work so I uh, borrowed the tractor battery. It wouldn't fit, but I had it sitting in there just in case I had an emergency and I was stuck somewhere and, and nobody was kind enough to give me a boost. But, you know, I could boost myself with my own battery and my cables and so forth. Anyway, um, one last thing I want to note here before I, I get started on, on trying to get the seat back in. I'm going to show you all where the seat is. Here's my little New Holland tractor. This is the one that does a lot of the work for me around here. Here's my uh, hay buggy. Um, when I'm not using my 1586, let's go take a quick look at it. My 1586 has a blown head gasket. Um, and that, that'll be the next thing that, you know, we get to going on. Because, you know, come winter time, that's the tractor I like to use to put out hay got a hay hook on it you know you just wake up and out there cold just pull back right into that hay bale hit it with that spike lift it up go where you're going drop it off move on about your business so this is a uh, uh, oh no gone 806 that's it 806 uh, farm all um, propane and when the propane runs out, I got a special little hose made up to where I can run it off a propane tank like for my barbecue grill. I got a wet line on a propane tank over at the other house I go fill it up with. And you know, this this is this is another one of the little beast workhorses. A big old spider right there. Hello, Mr. Spider. Dance for us. Yeah. So, um, you know, what's it going to take to do this? Well, uh, in the past, you know, I've had to take, I've done this once before, right? I've, the, the head gasket is right here, right underneath this, this uh, head. And this is your, your uh, valves. Um, so what I've had to do in the past is take off the, uh, all of the, top and side rail side um covers it's got some rails that come off i pull the tank out pull the muffler off 
you know, get it to where I can work on it. Um, this time, uh, I, I'm thinking that, you know, maybe all I have to do is tighten up my, um, my head bolts. Maybe they've come loose. I don't know. That's just me hoping, right? So what I'm going to do is work my way over to removing the top and get to my head bolts and try to torque them down just to get an idea of where they're at if if uh i got some torque to them and and it takes then you know maybe it's not a blown head gasket maybe it's just a loose bolt and uh i remember looking at the last head gasket which i think i may still have laying around here and uh there wasn't anything really blown about it um you know i've i've changed lots of blown head gaskets on different things and when you get to them, you know, there's a section missing, a piece broke, or split, or, you know, blown out. Uh, this one was whole. Maybe we'll find it and I'll show it to y'all. So, okay, you know, nothing fancy, but it was a $250 tractor that for uh, a total of $600 into it, I've changed a couple pistons, uh, rebuilt the, uh, the valves, uh, um, Put a new head gasket on it, you know, and did a whole bunch of little odd and ends things to it. And over the years, I've done a whole lot more work to it, but that's what it took to get it going. Um, you know, there's some people out there that, that would have took this to the scrap yard. Uh, <clears throat> me, I believe that, you know, these are the workhorses of our past that, that made things happen for us, us being the farmers. And, uh, uh, you know what better way to honor them than to keep them going especially if you got what it takes right mr rooster mr willie got what it takes doesn't he oh no doubt oh well we're stepping into the barn here um quick story you know me i'm all over the place so look here you see there's a big old cinder block sitting on top of this uh cat feed bowl here well i've been coming in here every night every day to, to feed the cat and I've been finding the top uh, hanging off of it and thrown out on the floor and um, not sure what's going on there well last night you know I came in here with the flashlight and spotlight and went looking around and well let's see if I can turn this light on real quick uh, over there where where the ladder is and where there's a hole that goes up into there across the roof well there's a big old family of raccoons living in there and i'd show you right now but doggone let me tell you if you've ever messed with the raccoon and pissed one off there ain't nothing fun about that trying to make things right with them you know you better be ready to kill or fight oh no that one just scared me it's the cat <laughs> So here's our seat, and the seat is going in. We're going to go ahead and pull this SL750 motor out of out of uh, this wheelbarrow, and uh, I'm going to put that seat in here, and I'm going to wheelbarrow it over to the tractor. And I say that because this bad boy is probably somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, oh, between 70 and 100 pounds, and it's heavy. And, I ain't about carrying heavy longer than I have to anymore. And uh, I'd say that this motor here, this SL750, uh, for those of you that, that have been keeping up with some of that information, I've got I got two locked up cylinders on it, and uh, you know, I just haven't had a chance or don't want to to get back to it. So, all right, say hello, Mr. Kitty. Right on. So. Uh, a couple more things, you know me, I just, I'm all over the dang place. Here's my jet skis. Unfortunately, uh, I think we're done for the season. I may get one more ride in, but man, the water temperatures out at our local lake, Lake Levon, is right at 80 degrees. Our nights are down into the 50s, and we got a 40 coming up this week, I believe, at night. Uh, they temperatures are still in the 80s so you know it's just a matter of time that it's going to be too cold to to get into that water 
so all right i'm gonna go ahead and shut it off here um i'm pull that seat put it in the tractor get it all uh connected hydraulic lines and then uh get to the point where it either starts or you know show you what it's going to do what i have to do to make it start and that's that's where we're at folks thank you all for joining me in uh 1586 international with a little update on the uh, cheaper to keeper my ford new holland my 806 uh farm mall and, and the uh Jet skis, the kitty, and the saga of the Rocky Raccoon family that's living in my barn that, that I'm going to have to uh, somehow deal with. And, uh, you know, we'll have some fun with all that along the way. Uh, I do have traps. You can see there's all sorts of traps right in here. So, um, you know. Trapping these critters is nothing new to me. And we do what we got to do around here to, to keep things safe, right? Uh, you don't really want those critters around here. I noticed I've got some chickens missing. And, well, I have a good idea why. And, uh, you know, shame on you if you're eating my chickens. All right. That's all I got for now. Uh, I'll come back here in a little bit and let y'all see what we're doing with the 1586. Thanks for hanging with me. Willie La Calle. Willie La Calle.